beautiful people of the internet, my friends who follow Loud in the Fields, who light up the world with me every day. Hi. And Happy New Year for me and from beautiful surrounding and the trees and the sky and the sea. So I have been wanting to start these videos for a while and uh, I have been wanting to find that perfect moment to start them and then I realized that there is no perfect moment. Right now is the perfect moment so I'm just gonna go ahead and start and uh, the purpose of this um, series is going to be spiritual encouragement. And I'm going to release a video every Sunday. And um, I draw inspiration for these videos from my own personal experience, from my life, from things that I've learned in my life and things that have worked in my life things that I personally experience and I can speak from uh, from that depth of knowledge and experience um, and share with you and hopefully I can only hope that this information is meaningful and helpful to whoever listens to it whoever has ears to hear will hear and so um, this year is the year of a tiger and uh, I even have a card yeah see it says lavender on it tough love mm, tough love lavender tiger I know there's some kind of connection to tigers but um, I wanted to make the purpose of this video fasting and praying so I started this new year with a three day water fast. And um, I have done fasts before with great results. Uh, first, I learned about fasting from reading spiritual books. And almost every spiritual tradition in the world has fasting as a method of purification of your mind body and soul and absolutely absolutely it is a hundred percent true and i'm going to share with you why and how it works and um just um a little background about me um i take my wisdom from many spiritual traditions of the world i have studied different traditions of the world um be it um, India, be it Christianity, be it Buddhism, Native American spirituality, Earth spirituality, and I just take the best, best parts of every spirituality that I learn about and try to implement it and integrate it in my life because I feel like every spiritual tradition has very very valid points and we can all learn from it and um, absolutely I love all of the spiritual traditions and um, they have so much to teach us so today I'd like to talk about fasting and praying um, so as I said I've done fasting and praying before and it is a way to purify your body your soul and your spirit well first i learned about fasting from the bible and um, just a little disclaimer i actually read the bible for the first time uh, a few years back because i grew up with no religion my parents absolutely did not force any kind of spirituality or religion on me which I am so grateful about, but as I became an adult, I um I grew very interested in um in finding out what it's all about. And actually, Bob Marley, uh, I'm a big reggae fan, and Bob Marley is like my spirit guide. So I learned about the Bible from Bob Marley because in Rastafarian 
Rastafarian spirituality, that's what they read because they consider the Bible to be um, the oldest, the oldest book of humanity, the oldest record of humanity. And, um, you know, we can all read it with our hearts. And that's, that's, I think, is the most important part. Like, I'm not going to go somewhere and, and listen to people interpreting the book for me because I have my own mind. I have my own heart. I have my own understanding of this world to be able to read it and understand it with my own heart, with my own, with my own um, perception. And um, I trust my heart, you know, my heart is all I trust. So I trust reading the Bible with my heart and I take in the wisdom and the truth filtered, filtered through my heart, not filtered from through another person or some spirituality, no. I just trust my heart and I think that our hearts our hearts is our compass in this life is our navigation system is our GPS and you can trust your heart absolutely if there is one thing that I can say for sure is that you can trust your heart and I've learned it even more from my fasting experience so I'm gonna tell you what I've learned from fasting um i have fasted on water before for seven days i did a seven day water fast and um it was pretty intense and this time i decided to only do three days um i also had my sister my soul sister joining me on this experience and that was a wonderful experience you know if you can fast with someone else to hold you accountable to share your own um, progress with please do so because it's a very very powerful thing and it creates a special spiritual bond between people when when people do things like fasting together it's really it's really amazing you'll be surprised to know how powerful it is to have support from your friends soul family whoever whoever it is whoever you feel close to whoever you think your soul tribe is whoever you can trust and um first day i was drinking water and i would wake up in the morning and make prayer and meditation my priority and that's how i would start my day with prayer and meditation because um a lot of times in these modern times especially what we do upon awakening is take our phones and check our facebook check our instagram whatever other things that we have that distract us for distract us from what's really important and what's really important in my opinion is connecting with your own soul connecting with your own heart so that you know where to go in this life you know like there's so many distractions in the world but i learned that if you wake up and you dedicate at least an hour could be you can start with 15 minutes you can start with half an hour but if you wake up and dedicate yourself to prayer and meditation and really create that direct channel to god to the universe to the source whatever you want to call it you know it's not limited to one word it's it's the great mystery it's it's the unified field that connects us all and it it is 100 percent real you know i've experienced it that's why i can say with confidence that there is that invisible higher power that supports you, that loves you, that that just is there for you at all times. So you are never really alone. So I've learned that when I wake up and I connect to that power through meditation is listening to that power and prayer is talking to that power. So there's that conversation going on. It's, it's an ongoing conversation. You ask for guidance, you receive guidance when you are in silence, when you're sitting in silence. If you can do it before the sunrise, if you can wake up before the sunrise and uh, dedicate that time to to your spirit, to have that spiritual hour to yourself in the morning before the whole world 
arises and it starts getting busy and start, starts getting noisy, please take a little bit of time for yourself and develop that connection with, with God. Develop that connection with um, what is sacred within yourself. And you'll find out that there's so much for you. There's so much support for you. There's so much assistance for you from the spiritual realms. All you have to do is quiet the noise outside and get back to your heart. And through your heart, everything comes in. All the wisdom comes in. All the teachings comes in. That conversation with the source is through your heart. And you can develop direct connection. And so my morning routine would, would be waking up and uh, spending that first hour in meditation and prayer. And then sometimes I journal. It's just whatever I feel like. Sometimes I want to go for a run and move my body sometimes i want to do kundalini yoga i'm a big fan of kundalini yoga if everyone anyone knows about it you know how powerful it is you know how powerful breath work can be um and um during my fast i would wake up do my meditation go for a run and then just go about my day doing the things that I need to do but one important part of fasting is that you're trading ingesting food something that your body needs you're voiding your body of food in exchange for something a lot more valuable which is that connection with the divine and so you sip your water during the day you can have some tea you can even have a little bit of honey if you're really feeling hungry like you can have a little bit of honey to kind of like um kill that hunger you know it works you know if you need to drink some tea that's okay it's just um we are avoiding ourselves of food when we're fasting so that we can open that divine connection open that channel that connects your heart to the creator and that's something that i've learned from my fasting experience and it works wonders oh my god i cannot even tell you how much stronger my intuition became after fasting even if it's three day fasting like i just i just heard the source speaking to me so clearly so vividly and um, on the days when I'm not fasting and just living my life, it's, I have to be honest, it's not as clear. So one amazing benefit of fasting is clearing that connection with the divine. You literally start hearing God speak to you. And uh, of course, you know, God speaks to you through your thoughts through the signs around you, through the people that you meet. But it will be very, very, very clear that God is communicating to you, especially when you're fasting. And um, another benefit of it that I've learned is, uh, actually it happened to me on the third day. On the third day of fasting, I just felt this strong urge of forgiveness and um you know in the bible they talk about certain demons that you have in your body that can only come out of you through the power of fasting and prayer okay i've read that and it really registered with me and i was like hmm and i've really really experienced literally started forgiving everyone who i've ever heard who has hurt me in the past i just started like that the the strongholds of it started loosening up and i just started forgiving everyone i'm like i don't want to hold on to these resentment resentments to these grudges anymore i just want to forgive i just want to let go forgive everyone and forgive yourself especially you know forgive yourself for everything that you haven't done perfectly 
that you haven't accomplished. Forgive yourself for every time that you wanted to do something a certain way and it didn't come out. Forgive yourself when you had to let someone down and it wasn't your intention, but it just turned out to be like that. Just forgive yourself, you know. Fasting really, really helps you do that. It's incredible. You just start forgiving everyone. You just become, your your heart is opening up. It's like fasting is breaking you open to this divine light to come through you. And it is so true, guys. I can, I can absolutely testify that the strongholds of hate really loosen up when you fast. And, you know, sometimes we consider ourselves... Like, oh, me, no, I'm not hating. But then, you know, someone hurt you or someone did you wrong and you just kind of like don't like that person a little bit. And like, what is that? That is hate. And fasting really showed me how much of that I had to let go. And trust me, life gets so much easier and so much lighter when you just like let go because really love is bigger than anything love is bigger than any kind of grudge any kind of resentment any kind of thing that you've ever done in this world or anyone done to you anyone done to others like you're able to forgive anyone and anything when you truly understand the capacity of love of true love love is bigger than anything i'm telling you guys it's true i've experienced it firsthand and I can tell you that love is bigger, always. Love wins each and every time. And love is where it's at. Living in love is beautiful. But sometimes we need some extra assistance to be able to let go of everything that, everything that you've been holding in your heart. Just let it go. And fasting really, really helped me do that. And that's why I'm sharing it with you because I've had these two, I would say, two profound effects of fasting. There's, of course, physical effects of fasting, like like you feel a lot more energy, you lose weight. If you're, if you're trying to lose weight, obviously it's going to help you to lose weight, but that is not the reason why you fast um, spiritually, you know, you fast spiritually so you can, you can draw yourself closer to god to the source to the divinity inside of you you know in the bible they say the kingdom of heaven is within you know it's in your heart so whoever says that you need to reach out to some outside force it's just not true you know even jesus said kingdom of heaven is within and that was the whole the whole point of his teaching you know you you reach within for the God within because each and every one of us has a divine seed planted in our hearts and also something that I really love that Bible talks about and is how God set the whole world in their hearts so no one can ever know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven and that's true because it's only through your heart that you can really learn all these mysteries of love you know kingdom of heaven kingdom of heaven of your heart heaven on earth here right now you can be in any situation and you can find that love and you can find that joy in your heart no matter what no matter what and we all have had such a difficult year 2021 2020 some kind of madness going on around the world but i think what it's really doing is is bringing us closer to our truth and we are learning our truth through the hard times and we got to be grateful for the hard times but because truly it brings us closer to god to the source to the divinity inside so i encourage you to try it out you know this is the beginning of the year it's going to be a great year of a tiger roar and um i hope that we all win big time this year and we all realize our own divinity this year because we truly deserve it because as the past year has shown us life is so fragile life is so impermanent 
The only thing that you can really hold on to is that love and joy inside of your heart. And fasting and prayer, people, fasting and prayer really, really opens that channel of this never-ending fountain of love, everlasting love, unconditional love for yourself and others. It opens it up and it expands it so that you can go out to the world and light up the world because you feel strong inside. You feel that love. It's always there for you. You're never alone. You're literally always surrounded by so much support, so many guardian angels, so many helpers from the spiritual realm. And um, my prayer is that we all connect to that source of love that is within us and we all get to experience this love because life gets so much easier so much easier when you connect with that beautiful heart of yours yes that beautiful light of yours that's why i always say light up the world because <sighs> why because light up the world find that joy find, find that fountain of love in your heart and light it up like share it with others that's why i started this so i can share my experience with you guys because i truly love you so much and um i believe in you you know if there's no one who believes in you i believe in you and i know that you can accomplish great things and i'm here to support you i'm here to encourage you and to love you and um make beautiful beautiful music from the heart for you and i love you guys so much i hope you have an amazing week ahead of you and please let me know if you've tried fasting and prayer before um, let me know in the comments below what you think about fasting and just anything you want you know i'll respond to you i'll answer any and all questions and um hit me up on instagram at lavenderfieldsmusic.com lavenderfieldsmusic that's it <laughs> and i love you all so much light up the world mm -hmm.